and no one I've ever fished with has ever seen. And it, and it was an exotic in South Florida. I've never seen anything like you guys. Oh, wow. oh. This one's huge. going on YouTube today, I've got a little bit of a different video for you guys. If you follow my channel, you know that I used to live in South Florida and I used to fish for South Florida exotics a lot. And snakeheads, peacock bass, clown knife fish, and a plethora of others. So, I'm going to start it out with my fish tank here. We've got a peacock right here, smack dab in the front. He is aggressive, he's ready because I'm about to feed him right now. And if you can't see him in the back, that's almost a foot long clown knife fish. I need to clean out my tank, guys. I know it's really bad with the algae. I've got some eels and stuff. No snake heads in this tank at all. Disclaimer, no snake heads because that's super illegal. But snake heads are also super fun to catch. I love the fact that you can catch the South Florida exotics down there in the canals. And that is what is so fun about having this fish tank styled the way it is. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and feed them for you guys because today's video we are going to fish for clown knives and peacock bass in extreme kayak fishing tournament. The KFT series. They also, I'm not sure if you can see that, offshore tournaments as well. So definitely check them out guys. We were fishing that tournament and my god, I don't know how we didn't win with the fish we caught that day. It was absolutely incredible. That being said, let's get to the video, guys. <laughs> so many crushed it. But we caught something today that I and no one I've ever fished with has ever seen and it was an exotic in South Florida. I've never seen anything like it, guys. Super, super rare fish, um, but check out the footage. Like that. He choked the hook, so we're just gonna give him a good revive here. Second clown knife I've ever caught in my life. Beautiful. Well, yeah, he swallowed the hook, so hopefully we can get him revived here. Thirty-four inch clown knife fish because there's a length right there, bro. Yeah, he's like thirty-four inches, dude. Oh, yeah. What the? Oh. Where? Bro, it's nine point nine pounds. What the? Thirty-four inches. Hold him up. Hold him up, dude. I can't like. I can't even believe that. There he is. 9.9 .9 pound, 34 inch clown knife fish, guys. This is why you shouldn't kill them because they're freaking awesome game fish. Look at this thing. Fought it for like 10 minutes. Beautiful. Ready to go. They like to swim in weird directions, so it might look like he's dying or something. Should be okay. Thirty-four inch clown. There he goes sideways. <laughs> Swam off sideways. I mean, he wasn't. He wasn't like injured or anything, so there's nothing wrong with him. They just are alien fish that swim sideways. <laughs> First clown, he's gonna land it, bro. First clown ever. Oh my god. Dude, it's a nice one, too. I think so. He's, he's still, he's still green. He wants to go around the kayaks, right? Bring the wheel and the other line. He just jumped 
and hit me in the face. That's I am so face. mad that I turned the GoPro off. Yeah, that's what hit you in the face? It hit me in the face. I was trying to land it right in front of me. <laughs> he jumped, jumped like two feet in the air and slapped me with his tail. All right, here he comes. He's coming. He's coming. Turn his head, turn his head, turn his head. Yo! Yeah. Is. There's the so weird. Isn't that insane? There's the freaking Yes. Yes. Like, I can't believe this, this fish can be caught in the river. This is unbelievable. Don't go really sideways again. They always go sideways. There you go, nice. That's right. One of those badass fish. Swims in fresh water right there. Oh my god. Five pounds is my PB. Five pounder. It's your first one. There's another one rolling right there. Dude, I really hope you guys enjoyed the footage. Um, normally I get a lot more footage out there, but we were going crazy hard for this tournament. Um, unfortunately, the rules were for the tournament that you can't catch. Um, the biggest clown, it was the first clown of the entire day, the first three clowns. So by the time we had reported those clowns in, they did not count in the tournament. They were a little bit later in the day. Um, and there was also a big fish pot for um, the biggest peacock and the biggest snakehead. So my guess was at the beginning of the tournament that no snakeheads would be caught at all during the tournament because the tournament took place in Lake Ida. Um, a lot of people don't know that you really can't catch snakeheads in the Lake Ida chain um, that I know of. But there was no snakeheads actually reported for the whole day. There was no um, prize given out for that. But um, of course there was plenty of peacock bass caught. Um, I submitted a several of my peacocks, but none of them were winners. But I just really Looking back at it, we were wishing that they had a big fish pot for this clown knife division because I doubt that anyone caught a 9.9 .9 pounder. Um, I've been down there in fish form plenty of times and never seen anything close to being caught at a 10 pound range. Um, that was mind blowing for me. Although we didn't catch any tournament winners, the EKFT Exotic Bass Roundup was extremely well run. It was a great, great time on the water. Um, definitely recommend going out with their tournaments. They're all kayak based tournaments. Um, they also have offshore tournaments for kingfish and stuff like that as well. So definitely check them out. I just wanted to go over quickly the rod and reel and tackle I was using out there. This is the Cast King Kodiak. 2500 I believe size reel, spinning reel, on a 7.6 Daiwa Pro Scion um, 6 to 15 pound class rod. So it's a relatively light rod with uh, 10 pound mono as my main line with no leader. Um, I'm using about a 2 2 watt I believe drop shot styled hook, um, free lined with a uh, small split shot and a live shiner. Um, the cool thing about the tournament is that you can get live shiners super easily at the morning of the tournament so you don't have to worry about any of that. Load up your buckets, go to your spots, and if you catch any giants, you report them to the weigh-in boat and there's a whole process for that. It's a really cool system, very well done, um, definitely highly recommend them. They do the same tournament every year, I believe, um, on Lake Ida. 10 pound mono and tiny hooks with live bait that was the ticket for the clowns. You can see them rolling. Clown knife fish actually uh, breathe air, so a lot of times they'll come up in low oxygen situations and gulp air um, from the surface. Kind of like a tarpon would, or a gar. Um, but you can notice the spotted tail come up and it's actually clown knife fish. So if you ever see that a lot in the area, that's a good indication to start fishing. The bait that was provided was live shiners, but they love live shad as well. Um, other than that, I haven't heard of any other baits that work well for clown knife fish. Also guys, I have a big round of jigs that I had just made recently. Um, these are 1.5 and 2 ounce. They are called the Gary Myers. 
because of a special request from a friend. I'm making a bunch for him. Um, I've never made this color before. It's a counter shaded blue top and a white bottom with a pink tail and red eyes on the side there. If you are interested, this batch is dropping tonight on eBay. I'll have the link in the description of this video. It'll be the most recent drop and it will also be available in the classic style head. But this is with the 3D eyes, 1.5 ounces. Definitely check that out. I'll have that color dropping today with this video. For those of you who are big into flare hawks, jigging, and for big snook, I have a variety of colors out right now, but I also will take any um, custom color requests. So definitely make sure to check me out, Feltman Fishing Co. on Instagram, and um, I'll also post all my colors and photos on there, but you can check me out, Feltman Fishing Co. on eBay for uh, purchase today. I'll have the link in the description below. I think that about wraps it up for today, guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the different style, um, freshwater exotic style fishing today, but um, Next time, we will probably be out fishing for a snook or something crazy in the salt water offshore somewhere. So, definitely stay tuned for next time, guys. Until then, headlines.